To write the name for FeSO4, first thing we need to notice is we have this SO4. This is a polyatomic ion. It's called the sulfate ion. So we have this SO4 ion here, and then it's bonded to Fe, which is a transition metal. So we have a metal and then this group of nonmetals in the polyatomic ion. It's an ionic compound. We're going to use these rules here to write the name. So first we write the name of the metal. That's Fe, which is just iron. Then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the sulfate ion here. One you should remember, lowercase s. And the name so far is iron sulfate. But iron, that's a transition metal. And it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. So here it's bonded to the sulfate ion. And the whole sulfate ion has an ionic charge of 2 minus. And I really do recommend you memorize the sulfate ion. 2 minus on the whole sulfate ion means that the iron has to have an ionic charge of 2 plus for these charges to balance out, give us a net charge of 0. So we need to show this 2 plus in the name for iron sulfate. So we write a Roman numeral 2 and we put it in parentheses. So the name for FeSO4 is iron 2 sulfate. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you'd know the iron had a 2 plus ionic charge because of the 2 here. You'd also remember the sulfate ion that has a 2 minus charge. So you just write Fe with one sulfate, so FeSO4. This is Dr. B with the name for FeSO4, iron 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.